This is frozen. Okay. That's a workout though. That'll keep everything in place from Should. moving. Should. We won't be in the mud. Yeah. Hey guys, we are starting the build of the solar kiln. Um, last episode we prepped the area and we also just uh, leveled out the ties. We fell too short before the rain came. So the other day Meg and I um, we got these level, so we're all good, we're square, we ran some lines, we checked it with the tape measure, and we're good corner to corner, they each match. So we're going to start framing this thing, but first what we're doing is we're backing, back filling the inside and the outside. And what that's going to do is just keep our railroad ties in place, it won't allow them to shift anywhere. Um, so we're going to kind of just convince the earth to go around them. We have a barn back over there. Um, our thought is... Let's build it like that barn. That barn is just covered. It has a roof on it. There's no rain and there's trenches on around the barn so that no rain um, streams into it. It's been like that for decades, maybe a century, who knows. But anyway, it, um, you go in there and it's dusty. You, you start walking around and it's like your feet are just like there's no moisture in the ground whatsoever. We're at a similar height with the barn here and this is all sand pretty much. Um, what I'm trying to get at is I don't think, you know, any drains on the inside or any sort of like vapor bear, I don't think any of that is necessary because of the soil type and what I've seen over there. This is just our wet season. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the dirt down, then we're going to add about three inches of gravel on top of that. That will be the floor to the solar kiln, and then we're going to start our framing. So with that, we're doing this by hand because we don't want to bump into anything with the machines. It's prone to movement right now, but once we get some soil around it, we could get the machines a little bit closer. This looks pretty good. Yeah. I think we need another scoop or two on this side. Where? This side's pretty full. I think we need another scoop or two over here. All right, guys, the mountain curs are getting festive. Come here. Maddie, show everybody what you got. Come here. Got a scent. Maddie, come. Come here. Maddie's got a jingle bell. Carmen has one, too. Come here, Carmen. They sound like little reindeer. Carmen, come here. Show off your jingle bells. All right, ready? Let's get some wood. Let's build. Okay. It's a good idea, Meg. What is? To tamp it too, a little bit. Hey. Tamp schmamp. Tamp schmamp. All right, guys, so the one Meg's standing on is the side, and this one is the low, um, the low wall is gonna be on that. So we're gonna build the two sides and the low wall. The front is basically just going to hold up some uh, posts. That's pretty much it. We're going to start building the framing first out of the 2x4 cedar that we milled. So we're going to go get that and we're going to get our cut sheet and we're going to head down by the shed where the saw is located and we'll um, start cutting there. Ready Meg? Yeah. Just for another reminder, if you missed the episode where I showed what we're building, here's a 3D model. And the front has two sets of double doors. It is 24 feet long, and we will be able to alternate nine foot boards a batch at a time, or we have the option of drying our really long lumber. So on some of the rafters, they are going to be a little bit longer than 18 feet. So this will house those long boards. We'll be able to do those, and then we'll also be able to do the majority of the studs and wall framing, which is nine feet in length and uh, we'll have plenty of room. All right, let's get to work.
<laughs> yeah. I'm really using the force right now. <laughs> Haven't seen this on the channel in a while. That's exciting! You know who you are. And thank you. We're building the side walls first. Both of them need five studs here. That's what I'm doing first. Is that the height of the stud? Mm -hmm. Really? That's so short. Wow. Well, that's the back wall and the sides, and then like there's a second part of the wall that has the angle of the rafters. Yeah. Yeah, three foot nine, and then you have your bottom. What? I it's, it's, four foot. it's four feet altogether. What? I thought it was four foot nine. It's three foot nine? Yeah, three nine, because okay, the walls sorry. are four feet. So inch and a half, inch and a half. Don't oh, listen to me. It's okay, honey. Let's go this way. Read the board, John. Like this. This is going to make good noggins. <laughs> What's so funny, Meg? You don't like noggins? Is that, is that the right name? <laughs> yeah. Right. We called it the wrong thing for so long, I lose oh, track nice. of what the actual name is. Oh. Wait a second. Is it a noggin or a gobble? No, it's not a it's gobble. Not a gobble. I kept calling it a, a goblet. Go a goblet. That's what it, remember? Yeah. No, I think they are actually noggins. You know, let's speed things up here. With the speed square? I don't like a new tape. <laughs> noggins. When you're doing board and batten, like our shed here, you need, to, like when you put up your board, you're gonna put it on the top and the bottom, you need something else in between. We only need one noggin, but you need something horizontal to attach those boards and battens to. That's what the noggins are. Usually I use less than uh, grade, grade two. <laughs> I don't know. Sean tends to call them interesting things though. Goblets. Goblets. Hey, you name it. This isn't a bad piece. We could use this as a topper. Well, I mean, it's resting on the tie. All right, we could use this. Man, nice and straight. Yeah, they do look very consistent. Yeah. Like just as a stack, they, we've come a long way. I remember the stack we had in the barn for the, for the shed. Some of them look like little slip and slide. Yeah. On a on a rolling hill. <laughs> Seven foot two. Mm -hmm. okay. So I got this. I splurged and I've been wanting one of these for like twenty five years. I got one of these retractable reel air hoses. You hang it up in the rafters. Get a shot of it, Mick. That thing. There. It's uh, I th it was probably like eighty bucks at Harbor Freight with the uh, with the hose. It's like a fifty foot hose, but it allows me to have it right there, right by the double doors of the shed. So if I pull up something and have to like fill up a tire or 
just use the blow feature, whatever. You know, it is so handy. It's probably, as far as good money spent, if you're in the market for one of those, yeah. I do not regret it. I've had it for like what, Meg? Maybe four months now or so? Yeah, every time you use it, you tell me about it. Uh oh. What's wrong I with it? I guess we'll be getting that new gun soon. It's leaking? This one? I mean. Oh, man. Uh, we used this for a number of projects. It served its purpose, but it's starting to leak a little bit. Pneumatic. So when we build the house, I think I'm going to go ahead and get the DeWalt cordless, the 20 volt. All my tools are DeWalt. And uh, that way we could just buy a bunch of batteries for that thing. And, um, you know not have to run the uh, gas powered uh, generator and bring up that big compressor tank and then have the hose all over the place. I'm going to get the uh, DeWalt version of this, something that would take a 30 degree nail to do the framing. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah, that's the plan. Are we thinking the same thing for a chop saw? I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Lead the way, Maggie. It's like she knows where it's going. Keep going. You're in the front corner. Right. Give you a better idea of what it's going to look like. Yeah? Yeah. It looks good, Meg. That's so cool. That's the height of the back. Yeah. Then these are going to have more. So yeah, the, this is the uh, side facing south. Rafters are going to go this way. And um, the wall will be here. And then the greenhouse um, polystyrene will be angled up against the rafters. But that's a good start. We're running out of daylight today. It's getting cold. My fingers are so cold. All right, let's lay them down and we'll continue tomorrow. Yeah. Whoa. All right, I got excited. <laughs>
The girls. Yes. This is a gift from one of our viewers on our yeah. channel. Yeah. Her name is Jan. She sent this stuff before. Uh -huh. But she really wanted you to have this. Oh, can I get a little help? Autumn dressed up for the occasion. <laughs> <gasps> what is it? It's a metal detector. You really? Yeah. Right there. Right there. Check again. Okay, it's still there. Hmm. This is exciting. Check again. Almost sounds like you're hitting something. She's hitting dirt. Okay, okay. Let's try the shovel. There's like a little spot right here. Try the shovel. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, try the shovel. Okay, we're gonna set it there. No, it's gonna have to Ooh. Well, that's not going to work because it's a metal shovel. Oh. You know what? What? The one, the other one in your hand is plastic, though. Oh, okay. Pick so it up. So maybe when you get closer, yeah. See, that won't set off the okay, protector. Oh, move, 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 move the, the shovel. shovel. Move the shovel. It's right there. Still there. Oh my! Careful not to put that put in spike here. into your leg. Nope. Good. Good checking. You guys are getting the hang of it. I go, no. Nope. Oh, there. what's this? That's not it. Man! It's what? A, just a boring rock. Okay, check in. It's like right there. Wait, what is that? Wait, why is it? Did it get it? Is it this is what? No, it's not that. No, it's not it. Oh. Wait. <gasps> it's silver! Look how cool that is! Is that what's setting it off or is that a rock? Wait, let's see. Look. That's a rock. Ah, come on! <laughs> I almost got one. Oh! <gasps> we got it! Yep. Wait, what's this? What's this? Hold on. Oh, we found a nail! It's another nail! <laughs> we found a nail. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Good hunting, though, girls. You guys Look worked really well is. together. Look how deep our hole is. Yeah. Come see how deep. Can I have the camera, please? No, honey. Oh, it's detecting Maddie. Oh, wait. It's detecting Maddie. <laughs> that's so cool. You guys worked really well together to find that. I know it's just a nail, but keep going. That's you might really find fun. something interesting. Yeah. I'm glad I found something. That was fun. Yeah. Come on, let's go hunt. Did we give you a bag? No. no. I only have this name. All right. Let me go get you a bag so you guys can put whatever we'll you find in here. something. We'll okay? keep detecting yeah, over here. Yeah, let's go and detect All right. I'm going to go get you a bag. Good. Oh, you haven't found it yet? We do. We, we did and did. We dug like, like, it, oh, I don't know. There are four or five. Let's 
go, Meg. Fine. I don't think you need me. A, has a hole through it. I'm not gonna use that. So, what we're doing, we have a 24 around, about a 24 foot wall here. I've staggered the seams. This is like framing 101, but if you look here, you gotta check out your schedule and mark everything, but you don't want like the top and bottom plate to be the same length, you wanna stagger them. So this top plate, when I get to it over here, keeping in mind, this one has a seam down here. This one is going to, get seamed up on the next stud. Yeah. And that seam on top, you'll have a full board over here. You don't want to have the same seams in it. You want to stagger them. And if you're framing on an uneven surface like this, I've gotten into the habit, like if you got to hold the board up and, and fire a stud in, if you don't want to like just, if you want to kind of foolproof it, just throw your speed square down and draw yourself a line. And now you know that line is perpendicular with this line. And when you grab your stud and you're trying to even everything up, like it's important to have your, your stud flush, like end to end like this, that's important, but you don't want your stud like this. You want to follow that line like that. It gives you a good indication as to you being squared up. This gives you more of a guide. Yeah. So you could get, you could even get your top nail in and then do a little twist and get your bottom nail, you know? Mm -hmm. So anyway. I'm not a pro, that's just my, my tips. And this is just kind of like, I'm not a professional and these are tips for like the non-professional. See how I schedule things. I make my line, make the X, that, that indicates that the stud's gonna be there, but it's smart to take that line and extend it this way too. Because then when you're up like this, trying to get everything lined up, you wanna make sure that you could see that line from the other side. So you know that this board is not twisted in some way. Um, so everything's at 90 degrees perpendicular and, and square. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and do that now. The square hang down. All right, so like that, just put a line. You only have to do it on one side too.
right drawn the line so you want to take over do the rest of them just give me a line on the left side okay maybe yes. try. a triangle i'll start framing this up i don't like I, they're not pro tips because i'm not a pro we got to call them something they're john's tips they're john tips now you could actually see it. So since I did this one, see, when I get to this board and I line everything up, it's good just to check that the face and the line are matching up and it's not like twisted or out of place or anything like that. Got it. Stop. Okay. Look at that, John. You made a big ladder. A little whoopsie here. Can't hide it, Meg. Gotta own it. Can't edit out mistakes. Don't be a wuss. So, if this looks a little strange, it's a short wall and it's spaced at 24. We did 24 on centers because, like, the structure weighs nothing. The weight of the structure is the framing, the structural and components of itself. So. I didn't even calculate the loads. Like you just don't need to. Like this stuff, all it's gonna be holding up is a little styro uh, polystyrene. And that's, you know, a couple fans. That's about it. All right, so we're gonna try to carry this. If we can lift it at this point. What do you think? I think it's nice. Yeah. What do I think? Let's see. We could do it. All right. Yeah, one, two. Oh, God. You okay? Yeah, let's go. Hold the top with your left arm. Yeah, I'm trying. How are you looking? John. Shortest 
day of the year. These long shadows. Are you recording? Yeah. I like the winter solstice, Meg. You know why? Why, John? Because the days get longer from here. Yep. Right? That's it. Alright, let's do a little... Did you put a nail in there? Oh, you were tightening it. Okay. I um, you're about to we're going to come it. back around and do, we got it. We might need to get lag screws. Okay. Some galvanized ones. Yeah. We'll put them in the bottom plate and we might even want to do some lag bolts from here through and we'll thread it through this side, squeeze them together. Okay. Um, unless we have some lag bolts about that big, we could screw them in from the inside of the wall. Yeah. All right. like this when they finish. I don't know why. I do that every single time I hammer something in. The last whack I go like that. I, I don't know why. Maybe I'm checking the uh, the head. So <laughs> Cleared. Checking, checking the flushness. Right? Mm -hmm. Like who taught me that? These are tricky. You didn't do it on that one. I didn't? No! <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. It looks like one of your welds. Glob, <laughs> glob it in there. Nail it in there. Hey guys. Maybe it's the paper. Oh no. What's wrong? I'm not claiming to be a speed hammer guy. them to me the way she's anticipating it's I mean not my, it's not my first day you can't teach that I mean you can <laughs> which I have and I'm glad I did she, did you see that go ahead replay replay slow motion right Okey-dokey, you, you? you didn't touch that one either. I didn't? Nope. Okay, guys. Meg and I want to wish you... A Merry Christmas. A Merry... I was going to say that. I hate this season of editing because all we do is sniffle. And I can't stand it. And I'm sure there's people watching that can't stand it. I try to edit out the sniffles. Okay. But want me to carry it by myself? Huh? Show sure. off. Go ahead. Do you think I could? I Where are you to... going? Don't go that way. Go backwards. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> what, Maddie? Maddie, look out. Okay. Stop distracting me, Meg. I gotta get to work. Alright, there's four studs. RC5. Yeah, baby. Haha. <laughs>